welcome to my closet hello finally we're doing another in my closet video which means we are talking about clothes thrifted items mostly i think it's all thrifted what i'm going to be doing today is showing you what i have in my closet that i don't wear but never getting rid of i have multiple things in my closet that i hang on to for dear life that I'm never going to get rid of. Although I, I can't say I never use them or never wear them. Rarely wear them. Some never, but I'm never going to get rid of them. It's just a thing. So let's dive in, shall we? Over here, we have the long hanging clothes, most of which never get worn. Okay. This suit I thrifted years ago years ago the skirt just flew off it is a just a regular work business suit from ricky's in the mall um it has a kind of 1940s look to it with this um pleating here and i did drop the skirt and the skirt has this kind of uh tulip accent at the bottom. Now, I never wear this. I have never worn it. I have never found a reason to wear it, but I did. Uh, I, there is a really fun experience that I had last week where I did wear this suit and I can't share it with you yet, but when I can, I will. I've always wanted to say that. I can't share it with you yet, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was a really fun, uh, cool thing that uh, happened, and I got to use this suit. I, I can't say I've never worn it. I have. And it came into really good use. So another thing from this side of the closet is this. I have shown this in other videos, but I don't think I've ever worn this in real life, meaning like to wear it out. It is a nurse's cape that I got at Salvation Army and I love it. Like, I love it. There's there's no armholes like in some capes. It is just this kind of thing. But I'm never getting rid of it. It's one of those things. I saw, um, I'll see if I can find a photo of it. It was in Sex and the City. Carrie Bradshaw wore an exact cape like this to an engagement party. And I have attempted to recreate that outfit. She has this kind of like white blouse with a little thing underneath and a full skirt. And she wears a cape exactly like this. So I'm never getting rid of this. Keeping up with this side, I have this black dress, which I have thrifted and have shared in videos before of my favorite thrifted items. This dress I have no idea what the label was, what store it was from originally, nothing. It, whatever the label was, was cut out before I owned it. It is this little cap sleeve black dress. I, it has this kind of like faux wrap thing here. I wore this to my son's christening, uh, and he's now 12. I wore this on many a date night. I've worn this in shows. So this thing I have worn, I will continue to wear and will never get rid of it until it falls apart. Honestly, it is one of the best things I've ever thrifted. And here we have a biggie. This gown. I thrifted this two summers ago. It is that E shocky whatever it is where you like put in your measurements and the style of things you want and I don't even know if this is still a, a website that's in business anymore but it's a floor length navy floral dress with a belt and it fits like it was made for me so yes I will never get rid of this because I will find a time to wear it. So not only that, it has pockets. 
So I can't get it all the way done up without help, but come on. This thing is one of those where you have to put in your measurements and send it away. And so whoever, whoever ordered it and then gave it to a thrift store has my exact measurements. So she stays, she stays. Another item that I thrifted years and years ago is this jacket. It is a, I guess I'm gonna have like a, a winter, not really winter, rain jacket maybe. I used to have something sewn on here, like a emblem, but I took that off. Um, it has these really cool kind of sleeves. Um, the back is kind of like a trench coat and there's like a zipper here. And it has like a full skirted bottom. So I have worn this out a very long time ago, but it's just so cool. The zipper is not all the way down. It is a bit big because it is a plus size. Um, maybe it's a 2X, um, but like it, the collar goes all the way up. Isn't it cool? Look at I have a mask in here. So the last time I wore this was obviously Christmas of 2020. There we go. Telling. Um, yeah, so it is a bit big. I don't really care about that, but it's just such a cool, interesting piece. So it actually came from the store Laura's. We don't have one here. There is one in St. John's. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's a Canadian like dress shop. Anyway, I thought it was really cool and I will never get rid of it. This is also something I never wear, but I'll never get rid of it because it is just too pretty. I think it's from the 60s, maybe even the 50s. It is this um, silky robe. There's the ribbon that ties around it and nightdress. And I just think it's really gorgeous. There's no label on it. Um, usually that's how I can tell how old something is, but I just think it's stunning and I will never get rid of it again, thrifted, but I just think it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I do have a set like this that is Navy. Um, and I have part of the set, the night dress here and the robe is in St. John's, but it's Christian Dior and it belonged to my mother. Um, but this, I just think it's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. So it's hanging in my closet. I really should wear it, but I don't know how well it's going to hold up washing it because it is, I'm thinking sixties, maybe earlier because of the fabric. And I think cause it's, there's definitely a polyester involved that I think it's the sixties and not the fifties, but I love it. It's beautiful. I'm never getting rid of it. Okay, so let's move over to this side of the closet. So you've seen this one before, another cape. This one also thrifted, honestly, like I have had some amazing thrift finds over the years. This has the little holes. Um, I think I may have worn this out to dinner once. I don't know. It had, to, I just had to have it and I will never get rid of it. Obviously it goes great with a plaid shirt and jean shorts. I mean, obvs, but how cool is that? Like, I love it. I love it. I love it. So this is like, I get, I'm assuming it's vintage. There's no tag that I can find other than like what it's made out of wool and rayon or lining is rayon. There's nothing else on there. So again, I'm thinking it's sixties, but who knows? So another vintage piece is this velvet blazer. I did show this in a favorite thrifted items video on bef before it is velvet. It is vintage. It is made in Canada. It's Marjorie Hamilton, whatever that is. Sorry for the finger. And I love, I think this actually came from Poshmark, come to think of it. 
and it's just, I love it. It's a little bit small here, but I feel like, you know, if you wore gloves or bracelets or something, I don't know. It's just, a, it's a really cool kind of thing. Um, I really should wear this more often now that we're getting into the fall. Although today it is hottest of Jesus, but we're getting into fall. So, you know, I get to wear real clothes now that I'm not uh, needing to be in sweats and leggings all the time. So there's, there's hope to be wearing this. Okay. So now we are going to have a seat on the floor and I will show you the shoes. I own many pairs of heels that I don't wear because I'm too tall as it is. Well, you're still all the way up there. Okay. So we're on the floor and we're going to dig out all the shoes I will not get rid of. First of all, I thrifted these only last summer and they are clerks and they are these beautiful black heels that I absolutely love. Look, they're just such a classic, classic shoe, but they make me about six feet tall. So I don't wear them, but I'm not going to get rid of them. Cause you know what? The classic black heel I might need someday. I had to put my hair back. I'm too warm. So that's the start of it. Then we have these two. I have a thing for a T-strap shoe because they kind of look 1940s and vintage and I love it. So we have this pair, which I think I bought the same time I bought these. I think so. And then we have this pair. Similar, hey? This brown pair and this blue, purple, periwinkle. Um, I don't know if I've ever worn either one of these out in public, but I'm not getting rid of them because they're gorgeous. Okay. So now we're down to two pairs of shoes that I won't get rid of mostly for sentimental value. These I've had since I was 15. They are black penny loafers. I don't even know what brand they are. Does it say? No, I don't know. The stitching is starting to come undone on underneath. I'm sure I could get that fixed. Um, they kind of still fit even after my babies and my fat feet. Um, like I could wear them with tights in them and they'd be fine. But I wore these every day all through high school and I will not get rid of them. And these <clears throat> are a little small. I, I will admit I bought these in Paris at Repetto. Repetto is a, obviously a shoe company, but they also do ballet shoes. And my very first pair of point shoes ever was Repetto. So when we were in Paris, I had to go to the Repetto store, both basically to look around, but I had to buy a pair of Repetto flats. So I don't wear them very often, but I will never get rid of them. And the last pair of shoes I will show you is actually quite new and, but I know in my heart of hearts, I will never get rid of them because I've been looking for them for a very, very long time and finally found a pair on Poshmark. So I have been doing some Poshmark shopping over the past year and they are Fry boots. These are, um, I wouldn't really call them ankle boots, but they're not like, they're not tall. I don't remember what they're called, like the name of them, but they are fry leather boots and they are a classic boot that I was looking for for years and years. I really, really didn't want to buy them new. I wanted them to be broken in and secondhand. I found these on Poshmark and they're just awesome. Love them. So I really haven't had a chance to wear them because I got them in the spring. Um, and so now into fall, these suckers are going to get some wear. Okay. So now we're moving on to accessories. Um, there are a few accessories that 
no matter how many clear outs I do, I'm not going to get rid of. I am a handbag person. I love a good purse. Uh, I have too many purses. Not as many as I used to. Cleared out some, but I do have a few favorites that no matter how many clear outs I do, these are not going anywhere. So first is my vintage coach purse. This came from Model Citizens in St. John's. Um, it was actually picked up to use um, for a TV shoot and they didn't use it and they brought it back. So my friend in St. John's uh, picked it up for me because I told her to keep an eye out for a brown leather bag. And I have a thing for a brown leather bag. Um, I love a good brown leather bag. Now this one, this, the strap isn't quite long enough for a proper good crossbody, but it's fine. I still love it. Um, it's, I don't know what year it is, but it's, it is coach, but it is old coach. Um, again, with a brown leather bag theme, I have my Longchamp bag. This I got in the airport in Paris. The same trip when I bought those shoes, I bought this bag at the Longchamp boutique right by our gate as we were leaving. You know, when you have that, those few leftover euros and you're like, I might as well treat myself. I got this sucker and this one. So it's the, um, L'Enchamp La Pliage, uh, tote that was, it was all the rage for a while. I still love it. I still use it. I will not get rid of it. So this leather bag is a perfect crossbody. It's smaller and lighter than this one. So this one tends to go on trips with me. So I take this one when I'm traveling. There has been red wine spilt on it. It has been through some times, but I love it. And so when we were in, we were in Paris, 11, no, 13 years ago. So I've had this for 13 years and I have a fossil key fob in here that I didn't know was in here and cool. All right. Uh, so there we go. This is, uh, one of the things that I will keep forever. Love, love, love. Same as this La Pliage bag. I love taking this when I'm, um, traveling and I'm trying to pack light. So I have like an extra tote bag if I need it. And then the last piece de resistance favorite item in my closet that I will never get rid of is my Burberry scarf. My husband bought this for me for Christmas present one year not long after we were together and it is one of my absolute favorite items ever. I love it. It is your classic, uh, I think it's called Nova plaid. I think that's what this one is. Um, uh, Burberry cashmere scarf. And I have had this, I'm guessing 17 years, 16, 17 years. I love it. And I break it out every winter and it's my favorite. So yeah, those are the things in my closet that I rarely, I can't say never, sometimes never use. These are the things in my closet I rarely use, but will never get rid of. What are the things that you're keeping that you hardly ever wear, but you know, you'll never get rid of because you know, there are some classics. doesn't matter if you wear it or not. You will never get rid of it. I hear you. I'm with you. I have them. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little peek inside my closet and, uh, seeing my little treasures that I love and adore and will never part with. So that's it. Uh, those are the things in my closet that I absolutely adore and will never part with. What are the things that you love that barely get any use, but you'll never get rid of? Let me know in the comments. And that's it for today. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.